fat mom and why do I need them? When you're eating a keto diet, you need to increase the amount of fat you eat because your body burns fat for energy when it doesn't have carbs to burn. Also, eating lots of fat keeps you full longer. So like the trick, the, the, the key to keto is low carb, high fat, moderate protein. The thing you wanna eat the most of is fat. So when you don't eat enough fat in your regular diet, sometimes you just need a fat bomb. And I've actually seen people eat fat bombs all of a sudden they, they were stuck at a plateau and they eat fat bombs a couple days in a row. Boom, weight loss happens is what it is. Today I'm making a three musketeers style fat bomb. I started out with a block of cream cheese. It's softened. I'm gonna do a quarter cup of powdered monk fruit. You can use some powdered swerve. I'm using the powdered monk fruit. I'm an eighth of a cup, which is two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. Let's see. And about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna beat the heck out of this with my mixer and I'm gonna put it in some of these molds. It's not gonna fill all of them, just however many it fills. And I'm gonna put it in the freezer for an hour. Okay. See, it makes this nice little fluffy I guess they call it a nougat, I don't know, that like the inside of a Three Musketeers bar. I made 13, not almost 13, just shy. It'll work into the freezer for an hour. Got a little bit of hot water in a pan boiling in a pot. This is a quarter cup of, oh, you can see my little phone case, a quarter cup of the Hershey sugar-free chocolate chips and two tablespoons of coconut oil. The coconut oil does not give the, the chocolate a coconut flavor, but it does help it melt smoothly. Okay, less than a minute in and our coconut oil and chocolate chips are completely melted. I'm going to take it off of the heat and let it cool a little bit. I'm pulling all of my little things out of the mold. They're a little sticky, but they're yummy. While I let the chocolate cool down to a temperature that's not going to burn my fingers. Okay, my favorite way to deal with my rounded bottom double burner, double boiler here, is a cool pot on the counter. It gives me a nice stable place to keep them. So let's see how to make this happen. Okay, my plan is to use a fork, put them on both sides, pull them out, yeah, that worked pretty well. This is my first time making this recipe. Found it on Pinterest. Huge fan of Pinterest. Do y'all use Pinterest? Let's see. Okay, I'm on my last one. And I think the suggestion for a quarter cup of chocolate was just about right. I was a little nervous. I didn't really honestly think it was gonna be enough. Ooh, but it's barely enough. Let's see, scrape some down from the sides and get it covered. Yep. And there I go. And see, let me show you. Some of them are already drying. Like these right here. Fat bombs. Okay. Let's talk about them. I let them on the counter because they look like they were getting hard. And then they look like they were getting sweaty. It's very humid here. That could be a thing. So I put them in the refrigerator and when I try to lift one, they're kind of stuck to the plate. I'm probably gonna make a mess here. Um, so I'm thinking next time I do this or if you do this, we should lay them out on wax paper. Yeah, cause see a little bit got left on the paper. Kind of messed up the bottom. Oh, well, hopefully they'll still taste good. I thought I would share that first taste with you. Mm. I haven't had a Three Musketeers bar in a long time, but this is it. I'm coming in at about a little under a carb and a half a piece, net carbs, of course, and almost 10 grams of fat, which remember is the goal. We're adding fat. I can do this. I can do this. I can do one of these every night before bed, something a little sweet. Yeah, fat bar. Cook them on, or place them on wax paper, and I give them five stars. They're good. <laughs>